Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy, and in today's video, I'm going to be walking through a top 10 list of tank mates for the electric blue Acara. This is one of my favorite all time cichlids, and I can't wait to talk through this one, so let's dive right in. So the electric blue Acara is an amazing South American cichlid. I like them so much that I have one in my 180 gallon aquarium along with five of them in my 150 gallon. So admittedly, am I crazy about keeping these fish? <laughs> yeah. So obviously with the electric blue Acara, they stand out in any type of cichlid tank because they have that electric blue coloration. And there are many other positives to keeping them. One of those things that they don't get too big, topping out at around 6 inches in total length, so most aquarists can deal with them even if they're a beginner. And due to that size and their overall temperament being pretty peaceful, they can go with a lot of different tank mates. Many other types of cichlids might have limited options for tank mates, but I think the Electric Blue Acara is one that stands out because they can hold their own with some of the bigger cichlids, and they're peaceful enough to not go after some of your smaller fish like a Corydora. However, like any cichlid, there could be an exception to the rule, and you might find an aggressive one, but overall, they're going to be relatively peaceful. Also, if you have any breeding in your tank with these guys, they'll definitely go after some of their tank mates if they come too close to the eggs or their fry. My electric pool cars just had a ton of babies in my 150 gallon aquarium, and if my tank wasn't this size, they probably would have caused much more issues in terms of aggression to the other fish, but since the tank was big, the other fish had plenty of space to get away from them. But overall, they're an amazing fish, and because they have so much suitable tank mates, our top 10 list was pretty difficult to put together, but we also have a pretty sizable honorable mention section at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. So without further ado, let's get into number 10 on the list. Coming in at number 10 is the Corydora. These fish are great because they scavenge the bottom of your tank and they kind of stay out of the territories of the electric blue Acara. Usually electric blue Acaras will leave these little guys alone and they can kind of roam the substrate without any issues. There are many different types of Corydoras that could potentially work with the electric blue Acara. So you have plenty of different options and color variations to go with when it comes to the Corydora. They're a funny little fish that would provide a lot of personality and an interesting dynamic to any aquarium, especially if you have relatively peaceful cichlids like the Electric Blue Acara. Coming in at number 9 on the list is the Roseline Shark. This is also called the Denison Barb, and they do really well in a small to medium sized school in an aquarium. These guys will usually swim back and forth, providing plenty of activity to your tank. They can also act as dither fish, which can reduce aggression between cichlids. They also have some really cool color patterns with some silver, that black stripe, and then a little bit of yellow and red as well. I think that color contrast works really well with an electric blue Acara. I've really considered getting a group of these for my 150 gallon South American cichlid tank. Even though these guys aren't from South America, they will be adaptable to your water parameters and work just fine in most setups with the Electric Blue Acara or any other South American cichlids. It's a great option if you want tank mates for the Electric Blue Acara. Coming in at number 8 on the list is the Silver Dollar. I feel like we put these fish on every top 10 list we do just because they're so good for cichlids. Similar to the Roseline Shark, they provide a ton of activity to the tank and they are also great dither fish to reduce some of that aggression in your tank. Quinn had four silver dollars in his classroom tank with a Firemouth and a Severum, and it really reduced the aggression between those two cichlids. Those have now moved into the 110 gallon aquarium in his classroom, and it's acting in the same way. There are also many different types of silver dollars, so you can get some with stripes, some with spots, some with just that silver color that really pops in a tank. It's a great way to have a successful cichlid tank when it comes to Central and South American cichlids. A couple things to keep in mind with the Silver Dollar is they do love to eat live plants, so that's a reason why I don't have them currently in my 150 gallon planted tank. And they also do grow to be pretty big, so you do want to have a sizable aquarium in order to keep them long term. Coming in at number 7 on the list is the Blood Parrot. The Blood Parrot usually has that bright orange coloration that's a very good contrast for the Electric Blue Acara making them a really good tank mate option. The Blood Parrot doesn't get too big that you would need a massive tank to keep them, so that's another plus and a reason that they work really well with the Electric Blue. The Blood Parrot is not to be confused with the True Parrot Cichlid, which is a South American cichlid that I have kept with the Electric Blue, and they work really well. 
They are a bonus tank mate option on this list here, but going back to the Blood Parrot, it does make for a good tank mate option, and it's readily available in almost all big box stores, so it's really easy to find in your area, making it a really practical fish to keep. Number six on the list is some of your larger Tetras. This could be your Buenos Aires Tetras, maybe your Colombian, Congo Tetras, Black Skirts, Bleeding Hearts. Anything that's just a little bit bigger than some of your smaller Tetras, I probably would stay away from things like the Neon or Cardinal Tetras. Anything that's that small could end up being a snack for the Electric Blue Cara. But some of those larger Tetras I mentioned can be a really good tank mate option that could be schooling and moving around in your tank providing a lot of activity and adding that new dimension to your tank. So number five on the list is the Clown Loach. Clown Loaches are great tank mates for a few options. One of those is that they do stay around the bottom of the tank, so kind of out of the territory of the electric blue Acaras. They also have a really good color pattern on them with that orange with black stripes, and again, that's something that complements with electric blue. The Clown Loach is also just an awesome fish due to its personality and how it schools around with others and just plays around in the tank, kind of like a little water puppy. If you're going to keep them though, you will need a pretty sizable tank down the line as they do grow slow but they grow into very large sizes and they do require a school of other clown loaches to go together. Coming in at number four on the list is the angelfish. The angelfish is another South American cichlid so it shares the same diet and water parameters as the electric blue acara. Typically angelfish aren't super aggressive unless they're breeding so they do work really well with another non-aggressive species in the electric blue. And with angelfish, they may not swim super active in your tank, but the electric blue car will be a little more active, so you'll have a little bit of contrast there in terms of just overall swimming behavior. Another thing that's great about the angelfish is that there's so many different colors and varieties to choose from. In my 150 gallon tank, I have zebra lace angelfish, which have some really cool gray and black coloration. But there are a ton of others, from kois to golds to ultim angels. You can go a lot of different routes when it comes to picking different colors. So you can really choose what you prefer and what color contrast you like when it comes to pairing them with the electric blue acara. Number three on the list is the pleco. Some types of plecos can be great algae eaters or cleanup crews in your aquarium. And like the clown loach, and the Corydoras, they do stay down at the bottom of the tank, so they're kind of out of the way of some of the free swimming cichlids. A few of the plecos I really like are some of the exotic types like the King Tiger and Leopard Frog plecos. I really like bushy nose plecos with electric blue acaras. I would maybe stay away from the common plecos, which can get very large and sometimes just not practical in an aquarium. But if you choose the right pleco, it can go really well with electric blue acara. So if you've been following along on the channel, you have probably guessed that this was going to be on the list. I have this type of cichlid in both of these display aquariums. It's one of my favorite all-time fish, and that is just the Geophagus. So there are many different types of Geophagus that could work with the Electric Blue Acara. I currently have the Geophagus Fini here, and this is one of my favorite types of Geophagus, maybe my favorite. I also have an Electric Blue Acara with Geophagus Tapahos, the redhead Tapahos as well as the Geophagus Steindachneri, which is known to be one of the more aggressive types of Geophagus. But in general, there are many different types of Geos that could work with the Electric Blue Acara. Some of the species get a little bit bigger, which require a bigger overall tank, but for the most part, they are something that most fish keepers can handle. The main thing with Geophagus is that you want a sand substrate so that they can sift through the sand, mimicking their natural environment and behaviors. So if you have a setup with sand, driftwood, rocks, and plants, a great combination is the electric blue acara with different types of geophagus species. Coming in at number one on the list and the best tank mate I think for the electric blue acara and also one of my favorite cichlids, maybe my favorite, is the Severum. So the Severum is just an amazing fish because they get big but they're not overly aggressive in most circumstances. You will need a 75 gallon tank or larger for these guys as adults. But even when they get to a very big size, like Big Red here in my 180 gallon aquarium, they're really gentle giants and don't cause any issues in a cichlid type setup. Like a few others on this list, there's a variety of Severums in terms of coloration. You could go with the Gold or the Red Spot Gold Severum, which is a really good color contrast to electric blue colors. You could also go with the Turquoise Severum, the Red Shoulder, or even the Green Severum, which 
all can work really well. These guys aren't overly active swimmers, they kind of glide around in the tank, but they are moving around enough that it's not like a boring tank setup. So they're really a perfect combination in my opinion in most regards of fish keeping, including the aggression levels, the swimming behavior, and just their overall personality of noticing you when you come up to the tank and just generally being curious fish. That's why the Severum in general is my favorite cichlid of all time and one of the fish I will always recommend to people if they are keeping other South American cichlids like the electric blue acara. Okay, so just some really quick honorable mentions, the first being the Walru. These are South American cichlids that would definitely work with the electric blue acara. The Oscar is another really good option in most cases. You could get an Oscar that's a bit aggressive in some cases, so that's one reason that they're not on this list. Another potential option is the Bala Shark, which is one of my personal favorites. Although similar to the Oscar, they do get very large, so you need a really big tank to be able to keep these guys long term. I wouldn't go anywhere below a 6 foot tank with Bala Sharks. And then there are some Central American cichlids that could work well, like the Firemouth, the Jack Dempsey, even the Convict Cichlid. Those could potentially work with Electric Blues. Sometimes they're a bit more aggressive and that's why they didn't make the list. Then a couple non-cichlids that could really work well. Rainbow cichlids could provide a lot of color and activity to the tank. And then also Garami, which work really well in your combinations with Severums, Geophagus, and Electric Blue Acara because they're not overly aggressive, but they can hold their own. Okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hearing more about the Electric Blue Acara and its tank mates. If you'd like to see a similar video done on any other type of cichlid, make sure to leave that down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.